Hello and welcome to HITC Sport and Fulham are a Premier League club again, meaning the Irish guy isn't getting Pontus Janssen tattooed somewhere on his body. Through hell and high water he was right about the bees, despite it going down to the wire, meaning there'll be no tattoo and Brentford are spending another year in the championship. The Irish guy owes a lot to this team for collapsing at the end of the season, but where were they all five years ago before they became heroes to a certain YouTube presenter? David Rea, Blackburn Rovers What a year it's been for David Rea. He only joined Brentford last summer, but he's played every single minute of football for the Bees and was the joint Golden Glove winner with 16 clean sheets. Five years ago, Rea had just completed his first season in senior football, playing two championship games for Blackburn Rovers who he joined in 2014. He's played in the Conference and League One, and fortunately for one man, he's staying in the Championship for now. Ethan Pinnock, Dulwich Hamlet This Brentford side have a plethora of players who have been on a real journey, but no one has come further in five years than Ethan Pinnock. In 2015, the defender was still a non-league player, playing for Dulwich Hamlet in the Isthmian Premier Division. Just the fact he was in the Championship this season is an achievement, so don't cry about losing the playoffs, Ethan. And fun fact time, his cousin is Nairon Nosworthy. Pontus Janssen, Torino the reason behind this video, it all started with a stupid bet on a YouTube video, and now some pasty Irish fellow with a scarf and a razor tongue has got away with murder and won't have to get a tattoo of Pontus Janssen on his body, all because of one game, the lucky bugger. The super Swede, or not so super depending on who you ask, was a bit part player at Torino, and like the other two players, so far has had an incredible first year in red and white. Henrik Dalsgaard, Alborg. Finally we've got a Brentford player who didn't join the club last summer. Danish fullback Henrik Dalsgaard has been a B for three years now, joining from Zulte Varagam in 2017. But five years ago he was playing his football in Denmark for Aalborg, and is a player who epitomises Brentford's moneyball tactic that has almost taken him to the top. Rico Henry, Walsall. One of the most promising young fullbacks in the championship, I'm shocked that this has actually been his first real full season at Brentford because of injury. In years gone by he's been linked with clubs even bigger than Brentford, and five years ago he's playing in his home of the West Midlands for Walsall. Hopefully for his sake his injury brother is behind him for good now, as Brentford will need him next season to the for promotion once again. Julian Janvier, Red Star on loan One of the older members of this team, 20 year old Julian Janvier is another completely random player who no one would talk about had it not been for this incredible season. Janvier joined Brentford in 2018 and acted as an eventual replacement for Chris Metham, but five years ago he was unwanted at Lille. He'd been part of the reserves but never got in the first team, instead joining Red Star on loan, who were the French team, not the ones from Serbia or Sayum. A little northeast reference for all you local viewers. Christian Norgard, Bronby There's a real Danish flavour to this Brentford side, with Christian Norgard, another player from the land that brings us Carlsberg and Niklas Bentner. It's not really a glowing review, is it? Anyway, Norgard was actually playing in Denmark five years ago, lining up for Bromby with a familiar fist telling him what to do on the touchline. Matthias Jensen, Norgeland Yes, we've got another day and get over it. Matthias Jensen has been an important player for the Bays this season in protecting the defence, and is another man who's enjoyed a stellar first season in English football that ended in heartbreak for Brentford, but jubilation for the Irish guy. Five years ago, Matthias Jensen was playing for Norgeland, having just linked up with the first team at the age of 19 after signing a pro contract in January 2015. Kamahela Makocho, 20. This is a young squad, so at 29, Makocho is one of the most experienced players around. The poor bloke, 29 years old and he's considered the golden oldie of the squad, with his teammates asking if everything used to be in black and white and wondering if he's lost his free bus pass. But the South African was playing for 20 five years ago, having spent the majority of his career in the Netherlands before joining Brentford in 2017. His career with the club might be over though, with Makocho only having a contract until the end of the season. Josh De Silva, Arsenal. Five years ago this month, Josh De Silva signed his first ever professional contract, agreeing a deal to become a senior player at Arsenal Football Club. Five years on, he was just one game away from playing against them next season. Particularly this season has been fantastic in a Brentford shirt, but we'll have to wait a bit longer to be featured on HITC again, considering we'll barely talk about the championship. Emiliano Macondes, Norgeland. Okay, I promise this is the final player from Denmark, and he's got the least Danish name imaginable. Oh, he does have a Brazilian mother, so I'll let him off. Marcondes actually hasn't been with Brentford all season, actually going back to play in Denmark in late 2019 because of personal problems. But he's back now and scored one of the goals en route to the playoff final, becoming an important player in the run-in. But five years ago he was playing alongside one of his teammates, also lining up for Norgeland alongside Matthias Jensen. Sergi Canyos, Liverpool Five years ago, Sergi Canyos was playing for the club that would go on to dominate the game under Jurgen Klopp, but he was also just weeks away from his first spell with the club that would give him his best chance of playing Premier League football. Canyos joined Brentford on loan in late August 2015, but he wouldn't join permanently until January 2017. He's missed a lot of football this season due to injury, 
but his silky touch and elegant passing will make him a great fit in the top flight. It's just a shame they didn't get there. Ollie Watkins, Exeter. Brentford have had a lot of heroes this season, and Ollie Watkins could be right at the top of that list. He's been converted into a striker, and he's ended up being one of the championship's best. Alexander Mitrovic pipped him at the golden boot by one goal, but Watkins can be damn proud of the fact he hit 25 goals this season. In 2015, he was still an Exeter player playing out wide, and actually just completed the season on loan with non-league side Western Supermare, the home of legendary Channel 4 event T4 on the beach. Some of you probably aren't actually old enough to remember that, but anyway. Idolising Thierry Henry, there's no doubt that he's ready for the Premier League no matter who he's playing for. Brian and Bumor, Twa. He's the youngest member of Brentford's incredible front three, and possibly the least talked about, but there's no doubt that Mbumo is another incredible talent who is a testament to Brentford's amazing scouting setup. So many of these players were signed last summer and settled in immediately, and Mbumo was no different, scoring 16 league goals despite only just preparing to turn 21 on August 7th. Brentford signed from French side Twa, and that's where he was five years ago, just part of the youth setup and wondering how far he can go in the game. Sorry Brentford fans, but this lad is definitely going to be playing for a bigger club no matter how well you've done. Said Ben Rama and Nice The championship setting coming of Riyad Mahrez, Said Ben Rama is worth the admission fee alone for Brentford fans. Back when they were actually out to go to games, of course. Ben Rama's unstoppable at times, playing like his fellow Algerian did back when he was in the second tier. And Mahrez was able to step up to the top tier with ease, and that's exactly what I know Ben Rama is going to do as well. He's definitely leaving after last night, no doubt about it. Five years ago, Ben Rama was with Nissan on the fringes of the first team, despite just being a teenager. Now they'll be wondering why they let him go for so little, just think they could add him on one wing and Alan St. Maximan on the other. Christ, they would put defenders in knots that gives them a never ending headache. Thomas Frank, Bronby. The man who was so nearly the genius behind the operation, Irish guy can thank Thomas Frank's eventual shortcomings for the fact that his body will remain tattooless. Thomas Frank is one of those weird modern managers with no real experience as a player, but in management he's been a bit of an overnight success. Five years ago he was with Bromby, not knowing that he'd eventually head to England, take over a club in West London, and come so close to forcing an Irish gentleman to get a tattoo of his captain. Irish guy heading to England. If it wasn't for this man's stupid bet, we probably wouldn't be talking about this right now. But five years ago he was preparing to head to England for education, where he'd meet a fellow football fan and eventually go on to kick off a YouTube channel that led him to stupidly saying he'd get a tattoo of Pontus Janssen if Brentford got promoted. Christ, that was a close shave. Ah oh, well, at least I still got Fulham going up right, I didn't really care who won. So there we have it, that's where this Brentford team were five years ago. The team that couldn't get the job done and robbed us all of a fantastic piece of artwork, although it has made a young Irishman's year and ensured he won't have to have an open conversation the next time he sees his mother. Thanks for watching, if you like this video give it a like, share and subscribe to HFTC Sport, but until next time we'll see you around.